key part of being a student athlete is being able to stay healthy and find a balance between schoolwork and excelling at your sport. For Pandas Basketball's Kendra Oslison, it was a year off last season due to injury that helped her become a key part of this year's roster. I think uh, the year off for Kendra was almost less so about her game, but just more for herself, she had to get healthy. That was the biggest thing. She had surgery on both legs last year, and, and it took a long time for her to kind of get herself to a space where she could really play again. And it was a kind of a, a kind of dangerous surgery. Then we were really happy that she's back, but there's a, there was a chance that it didn't work and she wouldn't have been able to really play. For Kendra, that year off was a chance to develop in all aspects of her game. It was a really good learning opportunity for me to be able to sit on the bench um, and watch things happen um, and see the whole season instead of, you know, just sitting on the bench for a shift if I was playing type of thing. Um, so I really got to see how our team operated, some things to improve on, um, and to try and find a spot for myself to come back and fit into nicely to uh, help the team get to where we need to get to this year. Kendra returns to the Pandas this year to join a team that Coach Edwards referred to as one of the tallest he's coached. It's nice having that large forward crew. Um, it definitely changes the game for us, um, makes it a lot easier to guard different teams. We've got lots to go with. Kendra is one of the most physically tough people that um, might have ever played Pandas basketball. She's definitely one of the top physically tough people on our team currently. and. Um, her role with that is huge, like setting screens, being physical, fighting for rebounds, boxing out. To move her um, is a challenge for anyone. Um, and I always enjoy having a really good rebounding battle with her every day in practice. I think uh, everyone that watched her play for her first two years knew that she could be a really impactful player for our team. She certainly has been in through our playoff runs in the two years that she played. So, um, you know, not having her last year, I think we lost some intensity on the floor, lost some offensive rebounding and some physical play. And having her back this year, she's just to, she kind of makes everybody a little bit tougher, and and, and uh, they have to guard her in practice, get physically tougher that way. She gets to to do her thing in games and and really give us an edge that way. On the men's side, third year Golden Bear Ken Otieno found himself in the same situation, having to take a year off, but for different circumstances. A year off just was mainly for refocusing first on school, because. Um, the year before that, school wasn't going as great as I wanted to wanted it to go, so I took the year off just to get my grades to where they're supposed to and to get back on track with school. That break from basketball helped him to really develop as a player as well, having the chance to practice with the team on a regular basis. I think the biggest thing um, was to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Daniel Ferguson every day in practice. I mean, he's playing on the scout team. Um, so, you know, so he's got to guard Ferg every day in practice and you know you're going against probably one of the best scorers in the country um, every day and you know if you don't bring it he's going he's gonna to embarrass you out there so you know Ken really had to step his game up defensively and then offensively obviously the same thing you know he's got to lead that scout team um, and so just to be there every day in practice playing against the best uh, I think it really helped his game and obviously the year is going to help his experience and his maturity so to be able to do that and also you know, still be around the team, still building um, with the guys, still getting chemistry, um, I think it's huge for him and you know, he's really shown that it's, it's done a lot to, uh, to help him out this year. With Kenny, it's just been tremendous, right? He's come in, he's been able to score, you know, he's set up a lot of other guys. Defenses have to worry about him. He's another threat out there, so he makes Jordan's job easier, Todd's job easier, Rob's job easier. He's opening up space for these guys too, right? Although the numbers have shown his contribution on the court, averaging just under 17 points and 8 rebounds a game, it's also his personality off the court that the team has taken a liking to. To my team, I guess I'm a funny guy because they seem to laugh at almost everything I do. And I don't know how I got that role. It just started in my first year and it carried out till now. He does it um, in sort of an unorthodox way, I guess. He, uh, he's not your traditional trash talker, um, but you know, he's, he's a guy that keeps it light in the locker room and you need to have those guys. In all, it's a prime example of student athletes persevering through time away from the game and being able to step into that key role for this season and seasons to come. For Golden Bears and Pandas Athletics, I'm Brad Hamilton.